In an I-Team investigation, a Boston nonprofit that serves low-income kids says an interior designer took their money and then never delivered. After the organization contacted us to help recover the funds, the I-Team's Ryan Kath discovered other victims all over the country. Welcome to Million Dollar Decorating. With a name like that, you can understand why a tiny Boston nonprofit thought it hit the jackpot when James Swan offered to help. He's absolutely charming, very articulate. But as the organization soon found out, that friendly offer came at a high cost. The nonprofit serves low income kids. How do you do something like that? At All Dorchester Sports, the after school program had a security need for new exterior lights in 2014. It's not a safe place when, once the sun goes down. And then we get Executive Director Candace Gartley met the designer at a community event where he volunteered to do the design work for free and even order the lights at cost. We operate on the thinnest of financial margins. That's why it was a big deal to cut a check for more than $13,000. But after months of excuses and delays, there were still no lights. No one would do this to a nonprofit youth organization. It just couldn't be possible. But it was. The nonprofit eventually took Swan to court and won. The designer paid half the money back, and then he dropped off the face of the earth. When the I team contacted Swan, he admitted he owed the money and promised the check is scheduled to be cut and signed this week. That was in April. And when the money never arrived, the I team did some digging. He feels no remorse. Attorney Peter Brooks represented a Newton family who hired Swan to decorate their home in Chestnut Hill. But they later discovered furniture they paid for was never even ordered. This was a conscious misappropriation of funds and then the deceit that followed to hide that. The family sued Swan and won a judgment of more than $211,000. But the designer later filed for bankruptcy and walked away without the family collecting a dime. I think it probably eats at them every day. I immediately thought that he was gone. I just had a bad feeling. Daniel Erickson is owed more than $150,000 after hiring Swan to decorate his Los Angeles home. Even a private investigator couldn't track him down. He's hiding in plain sight. Thank you, Katie. It's great to be with you. And that's what frustrates victims the most. Along with promoting his podcast, Swan frequently posts about his travel to trade shows in Dallas, Vegas, Chicago, even overseas. Um, Paris was amazing. But when Swan shared a photo of his boarding pass on the way to California, the I-team was waiting for him when he touched back down in Portland, Maine. Do you remember talking to me several months ago when you said you were going to pay back the nonprofit in Dorchester? I don't know. Swan tried to get away, but we let him know we'd looked into his background. You've been doing this for years to people. We walked through the terminal, across the street, into the elevator. What happened to all that money? Trying to give Swan a chance to refresh his memory or explain how he has the funds to travel the world. Why not scrape the money together to pay back the nonprofit? Like you said you would. It's still not okay that he's out there doing this. It really bothers me because it affects the kids and the families that I serve here. After our encounter at the airport, Swan contacted the I team to say he still plans to pay all Dorchester sports back. However, the designer denied any wrongdoing on his part with any of the cases we told you about. The nonprofit is still waiting for that check. For the I team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.